What is up everybody? Welcome to another series to go hand in hand with my Ask Armin some BS which I'll toss up the logo up here in case you guys haven't seen that yet. And this is going to be my top 5 series. So for the first one I figured we would start with the most basic question that a lot of people ask and that is what are my top 5 favorite MCU characters? So let's start off with number 5 and remember this is always my opinion and I guarantee you that yours is going to be way different. So with that in mind let's get into it. Number 5 Ant-Man. This is the most newest character that you're going to find on this list, but definitely becoming one of my favorites. Um, I absolutely loved Scott Lang in that movie. I loved his redemption story. I loved the humor that, you know, was there. I think Paul Rudd did a great job, and um, I think just overall as Ant-Man, I think he's going to add a whole other uh, dimension and a whole other feel to the movie, how he enters, you know, and um, interacts with everybody, his style, his comedic timing, um, I just think it's going to be great. Um, I really liked in the movie, you know, how his suit looks, I like how his powers are, were actually displayed, and I like, um, you can tell he's a good guy, but he hasn't made really the best choices in life, and uh, I think that's something a lot of people, you know, can relate to, so for that, he is my number five. Number four! Agent Garrett Ward from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Now, I know this is going to surprise a lot of people, and a lot of people are going to go, Really? Um, ever since the first episode, I really liked Agent Ward. I saw that, that you know, that thick, oh, I'm a buy-the-book soldier type of thing, was just to cover up because they were going to introduce more to the character. And I always said, you know, there's got to be a whole lot more to this person. Um, obviously, as the series goes on, Season 1 had a little bit of a, uh, you know, shift towards his character, they showed off some of his side, and you know, that there was definitely more layers to this character. As season 2 gets going, we see that he is a very complex person, you know, he has certain allegiances, and uh, he's very good at manipulating people, and we see that that, you know, goes all the way back to um, his origin, or how he got to be that way. We see that he'll do anything pretty much for himself, and um, nothing can stand in his way, and I really enjoy that, so for that, he is number 4. Number 3! Aldridge Killian from Iron Man 3. That's right, the Mandarin himself. Um, I think I've expressed enough how much I absolutely love that movie and how much I love the character of the Mandarin in there. I just thought, uh, you know, underneath what's shown to you, you have to look at the character at a different light, and I think they did that in a phenomenal way. Now, when you obviously look at him, you know, he's got that whole... Um, how should we say, it's, it's the Riddler, you know, he's got the whole Riddler thing, oh, I'm obsessed with this guy, this doesn't go that way, but instead of just being a stupid villain, this guy hatches up a scheme that literally goes into the heart and fear of America, and I thought that was really awesome. Plus, I'm a huge fan of Guy Pierce. I think he's a great actor, and um, I just enjoyed the portrayal of, well, the Mandarin in the movie. Um, I love how they played with those expectations, and I loved how um, the character was just a complete, so, you know, sleazeball. I guess to say it the best way. Um, I love just seeing, you know, his business schemes and everything like that. And um, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed him. Number two, Daredevil. Now, Daredevil. Oh yes, oh yes, awesome. Um, now, see, when it comes to Daredevil, um, I was thinking of just sticking to movies, but. Obviously, Agent Ward and Daredevil both uh, kind of don't belong in the movies yet. So, um, I decided to only stick to two. So, I didn't include Kimpin on this one for an obvious reason. Um, because I wanted to just include Daredevil since he's in his show. But what, whatever, that's besides the point. Um, I think Charlie Cox does an amazing job at what's, you know, what he's given with here. Um, I think Daredevil has proven to be the best comic book show of all time. Opinion! Opinion. Opinion. That's cool. The Flash is good. That's cool. That's great. But no, seriously, when I watch that show, I'm totally invested. I haven't seen it twice through and I'm going to do it a third time. I think the characters just come to life. And I think Charlie Cox absolutely delivers what is necessary to the character of Daredevil. Um, when you see the character, he's very conflicted in everything he does. Uh, everything he does, you know, he does it for the purpose of bettering others and, um, you know, trying to get his own way, even that kind of uh, has, like, um, repercussions to him, which obviously, you know, every time he's with a woman, something goes bad. You know, this character just can't catch a break, and I think they capture that perfectly in this, you know. He's very much down on his luck, and uh, even when you think something good is going to happen, it doesn't happen, and uh, when you look at Daredevil, when you look at him as a core character, I love how they fleshed out his backstory. I love how he has a simple, you know, way of kind of growing up. You know, he was in an orphanage, and uh, you know, it's just everything kind of clicked together for me. And the flashbacks of him and Foggy, and 
how his suit actually evolves throughout the season, how he evolves as a character, I think is great. And, um, I think everything just about the character really worked in season one, and I just can't wait to see where they go with season two. And number one, no surprise of anybody that knows me on this channel, and, well, my shirt says it all, Captain America, my favorite Avenger, my favorite Marvel character, um, well, Marvel hero, we should go with, um, absolutely love him, I can't wait to see more, can't wait to see Civil War, and I think everything that Captain America is in the MCU is, um, what most heroes should strive to be in both companies, um, you know, he does always what he believes is right, he's always fighting for the little guy, he's never backing down, even if he knows he could lose the fight, it, it's just everything you need in a hero is perfectly there. I think they characterized them from the comics to modern day perfectly. You know, they evolved his story, but of course that clicks together. And we see, you know, in the movie, when the first adventure starts, we see he's being bullied. We see he's getting turned down for the military. But that doesn't stop him. He's dedicated to helping smaller people. And that's what he's going to do. And no matter what, he tries to get there. And as the movies go on, you know, we see that carry through. We see why people are inspired by him. We see why he is the best of the Avengers. And I really absolutely love that. You know, I think he's a phenomenal character. I think Chris Evans did a phenomenal job and does a phenomenal job of bringing that character to the screen. And um, I can't say enough about him. Captain America is definitely number one. So with that out of the way, I want you guys to let me know your five MCU characters down below. So thank you for watching the video, and if you guys like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you haven't already, check out some of these other great videos we have on the channel. Just click the annotation right there, it'll take you to them. Thank you for watching guys, and have a good one.